it always begins with a dream. It always begins with me seeing something like in my in my mind, like something strikes me. Maybe it's a painting I've seen or a movie I've seen or something that that I find or even experience like staring at the sunset or something, you know. It, it, it triggers something in my brain that makes me sort of draw another, like, another idea from that. Like, oh, what if the sunset was a game? You know, and I'll just sit there like, yeah, okay. So what would that be like? You know, or I'll look at a painting and say, you know, ah, you know, this is a painting of the beheading of, you know, of John the Baptist, you know, by Salome. And I'm like, what if this painting were a game? Like, what, what, would, what then? What would we do? How would we get people... Um, to play this situation, you know? And it sounds a bit absurd, but it's led us to some really interesting places, like just this sort of thought process of looking at something, thinking about it, or, or gathering that sensation from the world, like, you know, of the wind blowing, you know, of looking at the ocean, of um, holding my husband's hand, you know, whatever. And it's just that becomes, for me, the, the genesis of a game idea, you know? Or, or, or yeah, you know, and I think maybe... This ties into your other question about interactivity as well. It's just um, the world is interactive. It's interacting with you. You are interacting with things, you know. And for me, I think using video games technology has allowed me to sort of um, spotlight those little moments and blow them entirely out of proportion. <laughs> and then to make these, uh, you know, other to take that moment, amplify it and make it something that someone else can experience. So...